Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your small motorhome specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. My brother Levi or I would be happy to help. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 O H I O R V S. For sale today, we have a 2004 Road Trek 190 Popular with 48,010 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2004 Road Trek 190 Popular. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm gonna do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business since 1976. My brother Levi and I are in charge of the main operations. Our brother-in-law Greg's in charge of the shop. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. If you are wondering about the differences between the Road Trek 190 Popular and 190 Versatile, we do have a video explaining those differences. I'll drop a link to that here on the screen, as well as in the video description. So you can check that out. You'll get some good examples of these front beds made up and just the differences between those two, so you can decide which one's right for you. Got about 72 inches of headroom here in the main part of the coach. About 69 inches here where it steps up in the rear. Got a fantastic fan in the center that runs on your coach battery that can act like an exhaust fan if you have moist air. Also acts like an attic fan. If you open up the windows, that will bring the cool outside air in. That runs on the coach battery, so that's convenient that you can use it when you're boondocking. It also acts like an exhaust fan for the bathroom, which is in here. We'll check that out in a little while. Storage spot there in the door. These black things are cup holders. These two windows do open. They have screens. The opening mechanism is behind this little triangle here. You can't see that one. You can't get that open unless you open those doors up, but you can open up both of these doors and the windows. A storage spot up top here. Got your levels test for your propane, your fresh water, your holding, which is your black and your gray tank. This is your coach battery. Water pump on off. So you push that button, that'll turn the water pump on and off. That will pump the water out of your onboard water tanks. Coach battery disconnect, that disconnects the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. That will also disconnect your charging systems, which are your shore power plug-in, the generator or the alternator while you drive, porch light switch, generator start stop. That is an Onan 2800, has a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. That's got 76 hours. So this chair here has a drawer below it. Get some of your manuals in there. Both of these front seats do swivel. This one's gonna get a lot better position because it doesn't have the steering wheel or this cabinet here, but you can swivel this and connect it with this to make a bed. We've got lots of examples of that in the Road Trek 190 popular versus versatile video. So check out that video if you'd like to see the beds made up. Flip me around out of the kitchen. Got a plug there, that's the microwave that's plugged into that. That's your standard microwave that runs on AC, so your shore power plug-in or the generator. Got a 110 power here. Water heater on off, that lights itself. Got a nice aluminum backsplash. Two burner propane cooktop. Got a single basin sink. Those yellow cards you see in all of our units means have been sterilized with Sterifab, which is a legal requirement in Ohio. Got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer here. This is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC. It's your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC, meaning the coach battery or propane gas. That's controlled via the controls on the front of the unit. There are directions in the bottom of the box to help you get that started. So the way the shower works in the Road Trek 190, below this carpet, which you can roll up, we've got a wet dry basin. This trench covers up the drain. So the idea is that you shower standing here, 
the water runs into this drain and goes down into that trench. That way it cannot get in front of it or helps to prevent it from getting in front of the trench. Got the shower track here. You pull the curtain around, stand here in the aisle. It's your shower head. Toilet. You can flip out this part here of the door to provide more privacy. Another little privacy flip out on this cabinet door. Got a countertop slide out here. Nice big storage bays. We've got a Cool Cat AC heat pump. So that is a heat pump that works down to around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature. Below that, you'll have to use the propane furnace. This also has your AC right in here. The AC heat pump and propane furnace are all controlled through the thermostat here on the wall. We've got speakers up here. Those are run to the head unit up front. So whatever the driver and passenger are listening to will also play back here. We've got windows that open with screens on the lower portion on both sides. We've got a 110 plug here. This window does not open. This window does open. There are no screens directly on these windows, but there's a storage spot up front that has a screen that you can put in this back area to be able to open the door and have the whole back door screened. Got the privacy curtains around. Got two belts back here. So we've got a total of five belts in this unit. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a picture of the bed made up so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The twin sleepers measure approximately 74 inches long and 26 inches wide on the driver's side and just a little shorter at about 70 inches long on the passenger side. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 70 to 74 inches front to back and 72 inches side to side. This bed is technically designed for two, but you could potentially sleep three people lying either direction. Down here below the couch in the rear, got your propane furnace, back of the water heater, your water pump. This red lever controls where the water is coming from, whether that's the main tank or the winter tank that you're seeing here now. Got your fuse panel in there. That has your breakers for your AC power or your fuses for your DC power. Got the rear entry doors that you can access this space and you can also access it from the inside here. Got a table mount there in the center and we've got a noxious gas detector. Here we are sitting at the rear of the road trek. Why has the shovel remained so popular through the years? It was a groundbreaking invention and it turns out people really dig it. Got a 110 outlet up underneath here. It's a noxious gas detector there. Got a closet here where you can hang your goodies. Got two table legs and the diamond style road trek table you often see. So all in all, a really, really nice road trek here. Minimal blemishes. The front bumper ground effects have been removed on this one to create more clearance underneath if you're looking to do some more backcountry style camping. You do have a little more clearance on this particular unit. All in all though, a very, very clean specimen inside and out. I'm gonna call this one a nine out of 10. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealership around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Cabin air, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. Upholstery is in nice clean shape. Not noticing any burns, tears. Not noticing any funny smells in here or signs of smoking. Cigarette lighter is unused. So I'm gonna call this a non-smoker. Got your little glove box here with your chassis manual. You can pull this curtain all the way around the front to provide privacy while you're parked. Also got a curtain here you can pull across to block off these two windows. Here on the right side, we've got that screen that goes in the back doors and some other goodies. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2004 Road Trek 190 Popular. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 3019 date codes. This road truck is built on a Chevy 3500 Express Van chassis 
with a six liter V8 engine with 48,010 miles. Got a very good looking exterior on this one, minimal blemishes, paint is very shiny. Stripes look very good. Got your porch light, furnace exhaust. Coach battery. We do have actual alloy rims on this unit. Coming around to the back of the RV, got your air conditioner up top. This fill is a water fill for the winter tank. So the winter tank is below this couch. That's to be able to keep that warmer in cold weather. If you have more questions about that, we can go over that more at the time of sale. Got the storage area down below. Got some goodies here in the bag. This is the pin that holds the spare tire up. This little door covers up the propane tank here. We do have a hose that comes off this propane tank that you can attach a grill to if you'd like to grill out back here. Got your tow package. You can access this storage area through the door here. Be able to get there from the inside of the unit. A couple minor blemishes on the stripes, but all in all, the stripes are in really good condition on this. Got the fuel tank for the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank. This is your generator exhaust that is up underneath the unit. The generator is, I should say. Back of the water heater. Got the back of the refrigerator. This is the exhaust over the stove. Got an outside shower here. It's nice for kids or pets. Got your city water going in here. If you have the city water hose going in and you open up this valve, it will fill the onboard fresh water tank. That's gonna fill the main tank. Got a storage bay here. This is your shore power cord that's attached to the RV. This is a sewer hose. Got a surge protector. Got your sewer dump down here. So you'll pop up this little door. You can attach the sewer hose. You got a black lever here and a gray. So pull the black first, then the gray. Black is your toilet, gray is your sink and shower. We got the fill here inside the driver's door for the main freshwater tank. Very nice road trek, ready to hit the highway and have some fun.